Welcome back to South Carolina, Spartanburg, South Carolina, the home of the Bills for a few more hours anyway. John Murphy, Steve Tasker. This is the home of One Bills Live for another hour or so. And joining us now is Shaq Lawson, who this is, in fact, his home, his home state anyway. He is a uh, South Carolina native. You grew up in central South Carolina. Where is that, Shaq? Uh, that's about like an hour away. But my mama stay like 25 minutes from here, so I'm very close to where my mama, yeah. I bought my mama house at. So it's kind of Did fun. you have family up here the last couple of days for practice? Oh, or? yes, sir. I have family uh, <laughs> all over the place. I even have some Carolina fans part of my family because the majority of them was Clemson fans. So right, right. I end up signing a lot of Carolina uh, gear and stuff like that. Yeah, you also had 50 kids from uh, your foundation at practice today. Tell us about your foundation. Oh, my foundation is the Shat Lawson Foundation, uh, just working with underprivileged kids, you know, just, just give them, trying to lead them in the right direction and um, just – you know, some kids might not have that father figure role, and I just want to be that guy that you can always talk to and at the same time and help out and just give advice because I had the same, same, I was looking at, looking up at the same guys like that when I was younger. You know, I had the same older guys doing the same thing for me like that, and I told myself one day if I get an opportunity to make money, I was going to do that and do it in my area and the area I play at too. How did uh, those kids like practice here? Did they get bored? Nah, they actually enjoy practice. You know, this the, this kid's first time ever been to an NFL practice, so um, it was very fun for them. And a lot of kids probably haven't never experienced a uh, sure. NFL game or practice, but the kids were excited. You know, a lot of Cam Newton fans for the kids, sure. but uh, it was just exciting to be all oh, and a lot of familiar faces I seen too. A lot of most of some of the kids I know too. Yeah, it's got to be a lot of fun for the kids, but these joint practices, they got to be more fun for the players, right? Oh, yes, sir. The joint practice is good. You're getting that good on good work with another team. You really ain't playing during the season, but it's doing it like camp mode and you're getting tired of going against bills. So it's, Same faces every yeah, day. Yeah, yes, sir. It's time for a fresh face. I, in the first couple of series of the Colt game last week and in the team periods that I've watched during training camp, including today, your defense – really must have high expectations for the way they practice, the way they played, and the guys you've got it rotating in on that front seven. Oh, yes, sir. We uh, come out here with a standard, you know, a standard of every day just get best. You know, this playoff, playoff caliber, uh, that's what we preach in our locker rooms. We got it everywhere, and we want to be the best and, and go out there and practice hard and, and set the standard. And Coach McDermott doing a great job since he's been here and, and, and doing that. I've I seen a lot change from, from my rookie year until now how we practice. So, I mean... This is great. You know, you know, you got 11 guys and, and guys you can rotate in and out, and they're going to give you the same play, uh, plays which you get from your one. So, I mean, it's just great, you know, to have a great coach like McDermott to preach and, and preach things like that. It's, 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 you could yeah. tell how we came out here the last couple of days, how practice was. Mm -hmm. We're with Shaq Lawson, former Bills first-round pick, after the Bills wrap up their two days of joint practices with the Carolina Panthers. I said this to uh, my partner Steve over here, Shaq, earlier today. Not only – there were no fights, right? We left early today. No fights in two days, right? Oh, no, sir. No, no fights. Not only that, but it seemed to me both teams – knew how to practice. You were almost at the same pace or level of practice. Right? Yeah. Did you dig to see that as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the same pace, you know. I guess we came to agreement of how yeah. we were going to do things. But but they must work like you guys yeah. a little bit during the regular. When you're not here, they probably practice similarly, right? Oh, yes, sir, they do. The only thing they was missing was the music yesterday, and we had to get on the coach about that. Like, <laughs> hey, they coach. had music today? Yeah, they had, they had <laughs> they to. They added that in Practice today? was too quiet yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the playlist? Was it any good? Uh... It was all right. You know, we got <laughs> five playlists up there in Buffalo, so. Why do you need music? Uh, For one, the game's going to be loud Yeah. for the crowd, especially if we're on the road for our offense. And when we defense out there at home, it's going to be loud. So with the music playing loud, you can communicate better, and and it's, you get a little more juice from hearing gotcha. music at practice. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this, this tempo. You guys have been going one-on-ones. Who's been – uh, you know, of this uh, of the young guys coming out, you've seen, uh, you've seen Ed Oliver, you've seen, and of course Tremaine in the second year in the defense. Talk, uh, what is the average fan not seeing? What do they not know about this defense and the way it's going to look this year? Man, you know, who's going to be a uh, great defense? You know, we can just plug guys in and out there, especially with our D line. We can just rotate uh, any guy in there. You know, adding Zoe to the mix is. We got great leaders. That's why this defense goes so far. Uh, we got a great leader in the D-line room with Jerry, Starr, mm -hmm. Trent. Then you got Zoe, 
and mm -hmm. Michael Hyde and Poyer, all those guys. So, and Tremaine doing a, uh, I've seen a lot of change from Tremaine from his first year this year. He leading a lot more, you know, mm -hmm. and very more comfortable. So, man, with those guys leading it, and we just follow in their footsteps, it makes the whole defense easy for everybody else. Right, yeah. Check, a lot of fans, and actually we talked about it too on our show, uh, really liked what we saw from seventh-round draft pick Daryl uh, Johnson uh, in the game last Thursday. What do, you, what do you know about him being in the meeting room with him and practicing with him for a couple of weeks? Man, he's, he, a kid can play. He's going to be a great player. He's long, you know, huh? He's long, very long. Yeah. Got the long arms. Uh, he got Man. that power forward build. Yeah, right? he built like – that's why I told him, like, did you ever play basketball? You built like more of a basketball player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Than football, so what do you say? He ever played? Nah, he won. He, he won very good at basketball. I, <laughs> I told him if I had that, I, we need to switch height because I would have been a credible basketball player with that height. But nah, man, he's he getting better every day, man. I I'm seeing a lot change from Daryl. You know, when he first came in, and trying to get his feet wet, and now he just from that game last week, he just building off of it and just continue getting better. You know, he's, he's gonna have to be a great rusher. He's gonna play a long time in this league. You got him, and we'll see where he goes. You got Trent Murphy back healthy. He seems like a different guy. You guys had a healthy rotation of defensive linemen last season. It could be even more this year, right? More guys maybe ready to help. Ready oh, to play. oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, next man up, you know, you got to find some somebody to help in some type of way. So with Trent being healthy, me and Jerry and, and the young guys coming in, man, we, we got, we're going to be a special group for not just – I know as a whole defense we can be a special group, but as just a defense and end, sure. uh, we can be a special group, man. I don't know if you can answer this, but what do you think is going to be different about this preseason game, seeing as how you guys have practiced against each other for the last two days? Do you think How's that changed things? That's a good question, man. I really want to know things, too. I'm like, because we don't got two great days to work against yeah. these guys. Are we going to get the same look they've been giving us at practice, or are they going to hide their playbook? So we really don't know. I, I, I wanted that, too. I was like... It's kind of weird. We practice them two days, then we go play them. Same type players, same players. Yeah. So it's like I'm an just... inter squad scrimmage. All yeah, of a sudden, that's right? what it is. Did you have a tip pass in the game last Thursday? Didn't you tip on there? Or am I thinking of a practice in the last game? <laughs> nah. Seems to me you've been tipping passes more this yeah, year, been, maybe. See, see, yeah, I've been tipping passes. Nah, I ain't tipped none yet. Nah, I ain't got Nothing? one yet. I did tip a pass. Uh, probably doing count training. Yeah, that's count. what yeah. I saw. In yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, sir. That's a that's a, a a point of emphasis, right? And I think your coaches want you guys to have hands up and be tipping passes if you can't get to the quarterback. Oh yes, yeah, sir. Affect the quarterback. You can affect the quarterback with his feet, eyes, and all types of things. So as long as we affect the quarterback, mess up the throw if you can't get there, put your hands up. Anything to get him yeah. throw a bad ball. You we you've said that you know you've seen. Um, big differences from your rookie year into the, coming into this year, your fourth year, right? Fourth year? Yes, so, sir. Um, what do you notice about that? What's, what grabbed you about this camp and said, wow, that's different this year? That's better or that's worse or that's different? That's yeah. See, each camp I'm being a little different from me. Right. Like, my rookie year, I was hurt around this time, so I was trying to find myself way back on the field. My second year, all right, here's a chance to prove everybody, uh, get my first chance to start in last year. Possibly was on a bubble, and this year, I, I know what it's it's this year. It's just the game and everything. This is my third year in the playbook, so it's a lot more slower. And I understand why we calling these plays. You know, um, I always knew the playbook, but I understand I right, why we calling these plays. I can I can know yeah. what the DBs and everybody doing behind me too. So. Man, I just been growing as a player throughout that year, and that's one thing I seen as my my fourth year at camp. Um, just the terminology and defense, I understand it more. Right. Nothing like experience, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, Shaq, thanks for this. Uh, keep up the good play, and congratulations, yes, fifty kids from your awesome, foundation yes, sir. here that's today. A, that's pretty cool. That's a great effort. Congratulations, thanks for doing that. Shaq Lawson, Bills defensive end, joining us. Steve and I coming back with more. One Bills Live presented by Kalada Health from Spartanburg, South Carolina, on Buffalo Bills Radio.